Oh, hello guys, uh, welcome again uh, to Gift uh, Varsity TV. Uh, this is Gift uh, Bozegan, right? Uh, if you are new to this channel, please just subscribe right now. Subscribe and please give me thumbs up. Thumbs up, like, like, like this video. Comment down anything that you want to say, uh, right? So guys, uh, I just want to talk to to those students uh, who did exceptionally well, right? Uh, I want to say to you that just because you were clever or you were brilliant in high school or you got distinctions, that doesn't mean you must study medicine. Just because you got all seven distinctions, that doesn't mean you must go and study medicine. It's outdated. Gift Bozegana, open brackets, gift Bozegana, comma, 2024, close brackets. It's outdated now. There are many courses that you can study in which after studying them, you can make even much more more better than doctors you know you know and courses that are flexible that you can study you know besides being hospital all the time i'm not against medicine and stuff right but i feel like there is this thing that has been instilled in many uh, uh, students especially in high school that when they are doing exceptionally well they must go and do medicine in which nowadays is not the case we have wide range of opportunities for students, you know, right? That uh, you can uh, pursue and do well in life. Because I know that we grew up in a society whereby you will see a student doing so well in uh, school. They will say, this one is going to be a doctor. So that mindset has disturbed uh, a lot of students, you know, so that they don't explore other career options you know as we speak me probably someone is watching you know they did exceptionally well and got rejected for medicine the because only. and they, they are hurt they are not thinking about something else they are thinking about medicine because in their mind they instill that mindset which, if i'm doing well i must be a doctor gift Pozagana to you today saying that that's not the case there are many uh, opportunities that you can uh, pursue right you know uh, beside being a doctor there are best qualifications that you can study you know that you can do well in life you know i repeat just because you got seven distinctions or all distinction that doesn't mean you must be a medical student or go for medicine it's outdated gift bozek anna comma put 2024 close brackets my guy they are mining engineers mining engineering right i'm talking about mining engineering i'm talking about actuarial sciences you know you know eh? i'm talking about your mechatronics engineering right i'm talking about your computer science hmm? accounting science you know petroleum engineers right you know guys if in, if you are doing engineering any kind of engineering engineering doesn't mean that you can work as an engineer right you can work in other sectors as well because they want your thinking critical ability your your, your thinking skills right you can work at the bank you can work at anywhere with because you have that critical mindset critical thinking right you know just because you are doing mining engineering that doesn't mean you're gonna work in the mine right yes there is money in the mine but that doesn't mean you are scared now no you can do anything but mining engineering is one of the best uh, engineering because you know the, the world that we are living in nowadays your mechatronics engineering the the world and computer science the world that we are revolving into the is technologically advanced 
for industrial revolution it needs professionals that are equipped with technology right yeah i'm not saying guys you shouldn't pursue health science qualification and stuff but i'm trying to say there is something new nowadays your data science right you know you know your data science so please please if you are not admitted to that program of medicine i know which many students are disappointed as we speak just divert your mind now to new wide range of opportunities because i know some of you you were doing that course because of the stigma around it that i wonder when you are a doctor this and this uh -uh. The, the honest truth we saw even on social media that some of the doctors are even struggling to find employment here in south africa right talk talk about it right they they did their internship one year community service now others they are unemployed at home right but few of them I'm not saying all of them right the, i saw that on social media i quote something that was written on social media so i'm trying to say to you go for a wide range of opportunities try something else you know you can still live happily a comfortable life and a secured lifestyle and buy as many cars as you want and live at any house that you want and support your family as much as you want you know live a very lucrative uh, lifestyle without being a medical doctor right i mentioned these other uh, qualifications that you can pursue so that you can do uh, well in life you know so please guys this mindset must be transformed you know it's not gonna assist anyway you know so if you're watching this and you're wondering which, hey i'm currently rejected for medicine uh, what else do do i need to study try new things you know try new things right because wow i've i've seen me people who studied other your actual sciences guys you know by the time you've done with the qualification you can work three years computer science three years you know engine you know so uh, uh guys please 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 open up your mind to wide range of right allow yourself to explore new things that's what i wanted to say uh, to students now that if one thing didn't happen don't blame yourself don't stress too much that you know i'm passionate i love this no come to university you'll see good time man oh it sounds interesting this one it sounds interesting this one right so yeah that's all what i wanted to say guys open up to new opportunities there is a there are a lot of opportunities that you can strive for in south africa besides being a medical doctor or whatever uh, i'm not saying also being a medical doctor it's a good profession it's very very uh, secured but i'm trying to say what this mindset have destroyed students so that they don't explore other options that are out there that will help them live a, 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 a lucrative lifestyle in which they are opportune as i've mentioned few your aeronautical effects right your your mechatronics your your data science computer science your mining engineering right your let me say engineering as a whole and guys let's talk about this engineering qualification engineering is not kind of the same right we have the bsc eng eb eng ne? we have your btech we have your national diploma we have your advanced diploma for you to work abroad right uh, these uh, qualifications are regulated by the uh, ECSA, which is uh, the Engineering Council of South Africa. And so in uh, Washington court, the, the, the BSC inch, B inch and B inch, that one can allow you to work even abroad. You know, you can become a professional engineer with that one. With a B-Tech, guys, you can become a what? You can become a professional engineering technologist right with the national diploma you can become a t 
technician right so so the levels are not the same so you must look if you are accepted for b inch or what what try to go for b inch if it's b tech you can go for it but just know then after the diploma national diploma you can do an advanced uh, diploma which is is probably equivalent to b tech if you can go to ecsa website you can so guys familiarize yourself with your councils right for example for health science professionals there is hpcsa for nursing there is a uh, senka for their different uh, professions right guys thank you so much for watching till this time if you have further questions you can ask below so that i can ask from right people guys i don't do this thing on my own i don't come don't say you mr know it all no i do my own research and come to you and give you this uh, information that is very very important all the best with your 2024 uh, journey hi eternal